I'm going to give everybody five minutes or so to trickle in here since I managed to get started early. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Last time when we left off, we had just explored the Lucky 38 after arriving at the New Vegas Strip. Next batter is going to be the Gamora Casino. Hey, Nyron. Hey, Lone Wonder. Great to see both of you, as always. How are you, gentlemen? I'll just leave it on the menu. I like the music, after all. Hey, Karis. this game. I feel better playing it, too, now that we've actually knocked a couple of games completely out of the backlog. I was thinking to myself now, the backlog is actually reasonably small. Like, we're going to restart Prey, so it's basically not even a backlog issue anymore. So that just leaves a little bit of Straggler DLC for RE2 and RE7. Honestly, the only big ones are Unreal and Earthbound. Having a smaller number of games in the backlog feels really nice. Hi, Infinimora. So I think now... Oh yeah, Diablo. Diablo is... Diablo is an interesting case. Because... You never really finish it but there is more to do with Diablo, that's certainly true. Should I finish Iron Man System Shock? There didn't seem to be a whole lot of interest in that, but I could be wrong. I'd certainly like to do it. It would be it would be fun for me. That's certainly true. Hey, older tree. The Avalanche have signed another entry level goalie. It's pretty much the death knell for Semyon Varlamov. Fare you well, Sir Varls of Denver. You will be missed. <clears throat> so the, um, I'll just say this now as I get closer to actually playing. The, uh, the casinos on the strip, they're all kind of an interesting case because they have... All three of them have pretty extensive off-limits areas. I am not going to explore those yet, because at one point or another, we're sent into all of them for quests. So for now, we're just going to stick to where we're supposed to be. Let's head on into Gamora. Oh, wait, we're hungry. Got to eat. Get that hunger level down. Now, I'm not sure what weapons we'll get to keep. It shouldn't matter yet, because I shouldn't get into any combat on this first visit. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. 
Okay, keep holdout weapons. You'll get these back on your way out. So what did I get to keep? I got to keep my Saturnite fist. That's perfect. Anything I need in any of these? Hello and welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? What is there to do around here? Feel free to head to our club Brimstone, or you can see our gorgeous courtyard out behind the casino. Do you have any rooms available? Sorry, we don't have any hotel rooms available right now. But feel free to gamble <laughs> to our other services. Hi, Tater. I'm sure you have all the good dirt on what goes on around here. I sure do. But loose lips <laughs> sink ships. Speech 28. Don't worry about me. I can keep your secrets. All right. You look pretty trustworthy. I love it, Tater. What can you tell me about what's going on around the Strip? Not much of a rumor, but I hear the Tops is always looking for new talent. Lord knows they've needed it for a long time. What can you tell me about what's going on around the Strip? I hear you've actually been inside Lucky 38. You're the first person who's been in there in as long as anybody can remember. What can you tell me about what's going on around the Strip? I've heard some pretty shady rumors about the Ultralux. I'm not sure what the deal is, but although they try to put on airs, that place is just plain creepy. Maybe it's the masks. What can you tell me about what's going on around the Strip? It's hard to believe that not too long ago, most of the families on the Strip were little more than warring tribes. The Emeritus even had a big war with the Khans once upon a time. $150 worth of booze? That's my boy, Tater. I like it. What can you tell me about what's going on around the Strip? Sorry, that's all the news worth talking about. All I have, at least. What can you tell me about what's going on in Gamora? Gossip is one thing. Dirt on the family is something else totally. I need to get going. Bye. It's so dumb that you lose karma from ste for stealing from these guys, because they turn out to be so evil. <laughs> See, they're very... They're so evil that I gain karma for murdering them. But I can't kill anybody or it fails quests, so... We'll just leave everybody alive. For now, I guess we can go ahead and do our gambling. I'll exp I'll explore the main room and then we'll break this casino. What the fuck are you looking at? Bosses don't like no trouble in their place. Elevators. Well, what's over here? Ladies' restroom. Stay out of the ladies' room, Denton. Everybody in here has played Deus Ex, right? <gasps> can you pick up a hussy here? I don't know. I mean, you can you can have a reasonable amount of sex in New Vegas if you're so inclined. I can't remember the exact details. I'll check out the men's room too. Do 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 do. Then we're gonna play some blackjack. It's always pretty easy with. I don't think my luck is maxed, but I think it's at nine. Yeah, pretty easy to gamble with nine luck. So. All right. Well, that takes us to the Gamora Lower Lobby, which we'll ignore until later. <laughs> the biblical implications of a name like Gamora. That's a fair point. Call elevator. We can go to Lower Brimstone or to the Sweets level. That's true of both elevators. All right. Brimstone. Oh, yeah, and we got girls dancing in cages up above the casino. That's nice. Okay, that's the club. We'll go there later. 
Got a bug here. Some waves around here. We'll find our way back there eventually. Mostly just want to make sure there's no one important out here that we need to talk to. Here's the floor manager. I tell you, not at home is going to have his day. All right, let's gamble. Welcome to Gamora. How can I help you? Gamora cashier. I'd like to exchange caps for chips. How many chips would you like? One thousand. Here's your chips. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nope. <clears throat> yes, let's play the easy game. Blackjack plays. Blackjack pays three to two. Dealer must hit soft seventeen. All right. You know the drill. Bet the max and get going. Six hit. Ten hit. Twenty stay. You break even. Well, ain't that special. Nineteen, I'll stay. Twenty, I'll stay. Oh yeah, and let me look at the, uh... <clears throat> I want to check the, um... The thresholds to make sure we pick up all of our rewards. Give me just a second. All right, there it is. 22, 4,500, 67, 50, 9,000. So 2250 is our first threshold. So we got a ways to go. Ooh, let's just hit 19. Yes. 13, we'll hit. 18, I'll stay. No. It's all right. <clears throat> hit. Soft. 17. I'll stay. Damn. No, you can split. We'll stay on that soft 17. Twelve. Let's hit. Nineteen. We'll stay. That probably would have been a better call. Doesn't matter. We'll get into a groove soon enough. It's always pretty easy to gamble with this high of luck rating. Double down on 11. Yeah, boy. 19. Yeah, blackjack. See, eventually our luck kicks in. Just takes a bit sometimes. Yes. Twenty-two fifty is our first prize. We're approaching it. Nineteen. Eleven. Double down. Yes. It's like they say in swingers, you always double down on eleven. Always. Fourteen, mm, I'll hit. Yes. All right, here comes our first reward. Hey, hey, look who has the hot hands. Here, have something special on the house. 
Two ramen steaks. Yum. Alright, bet the max. Double down. Sixteen. It was risky to hit. Uh, you can also play slots and roulette, Tater. <clears throat> Eighteen. I'll stay. Very good. If you want to be really aggressive about maxing out your earnings, you can run up to, like, just shy of the point where they kick you out and then um, go max out a roulette bet. But that's hard to do. Nineteen. Fourteen will hit. Twenty. Very nice. Twenty. Soft nineteen. Twenty. Damn. Blackjack! Uh, you want to do roulette when you're nearing the point where they kick you out, Warellis, if, you, if you're really trying to maximize your earnings. All right, 4,500. Here comes our second gift. Looks like someone is on a roll. Luck be a lady tonight. Here's a little something from the family. Me. Mentats! Jet! And two wines! Oh, these people know, these people know how to buy me gifts. <laughs> Drugs and alcohol, baby. Keep them coming. <laughs> ah, blackjack, I love it. Ten. That's it. Twenty. Blackjack. Oh, that's true, Nyron. I screwed up. Well, I didn't screw up. I just moved it for another game and forgot to move it back. Bloop. Bloop. There we go. Nineteen. Broke even. Anyway, I'm not going to bother with roulette. That requires, um, like, getting the beefy roulette pay payout requires too much saves coming even for me. Double down. And I'm already drowning in caps. We'll stay on a 17. Gamora's going to kick us out when we get to 9,000 in earnings, so we get one more gift before that. No where else roulette is. Roulette is higher than thoughts. Depending on how you bet. But if you do like the riskiest roulette bet and win, double down, which is like betting on a, a single number square and getting it, that's the biggest single payout you can get. Uh, not quite. 67.50. Soft 18. Break even. Nine will hit. Nineteen will stay. <clears throat> yeah, that's the one, Tater. You save scum until you win on that bet, and you can get a ridiculous amount of caps, but we don't need to. All right, let's get our last gift. You keep on spending money in here. You got to give us a chance to win something back. Here's something nice for you. Combat armor reinforced. That's a pretty great reward. Easily the best one we've gotten from any of the casinos so far. Hard 17, I'll stay. Yeah, that's alright. 20. Eleven, double down. Uh, 
Blackjack. 7,600. We're getting close. Hard 17. We'll stay. Dang. Soft 20. Stay. Blackjack. 1,100. 7. Hit me. 11. Hit me. 21. 900 to go. Saw hard 18. I'll stay. 700 to go. 10. Hit me. 20. Stay. 500 to go. Soft 19. I'll stay. 300 to go. 16. Hit. 19. Stay. 100 to go. So this is where, if you were going to do it, you would want to <clears throat> exit and go to the roulette table to save scum. So we're 100 chips away from being kicked out, but I'll hit that 15. 16. Hit again. 19. Stay. And lost. All right. 300 to go. Soft 20. Break even. Still 300. Another 20. Good lord, 500. Uh, yes, Brave Hero, I plan to. And even though it's not part of the achievement, I already got kicked out of the Vicky and Vance and the Atomic Wrangler. This is my first strip casino. I plan to get kicked out of all three of them as well. Here it comes. Okay, that's that. No more games for you. Go rob the tops. You're done here. Have some drinks, talk to some dancers, but you are done at my tables. <laughs> I hear you making some way. Welcome to Gamora. How can I? All right, let's cash in our chips. In what currency would? I'll take my payout in caps. Caps it is. Have a good time. Games around here. There we go. Okay. So that's done. Check out the Brimstone Club now. I don't think there's anything imported in here right now either. Although we can steal a beer off the table. Gamora Prostitute. Well, isn't she lovely? Gambler, I'll steal that beer. Steal that beer. Bartender. Hey there, can I get you a drink? Maybe a party favor? Hey, Apatham. I'm looking for information. Sorry, it's not my business to get involved. Nothing right now. I tell you, not at home is gonna have his day. Zoara, by invitation only. And we got that telltale red mark. And we'll have to pick open the doors. So like I said, quests are going to take us into all the off-limits areas eventually. So I'm not going to mess with them now. I'll wait until the, the right time. There's an elevator down to the lower lobby. Let's just steal everything useful from behind the bar first. I know Tater loves this sequence. Me just stealing all these handles of hard liquor from behind the bar. Door to courtyard. All right, we actually have a couple of significant folks to talk to out here. Well, what do we have here, huh? Let me guess. You've heard about the mistress who makes all your fantasies come true. So you followed the call of your desires all the way to the arms of Joanna. Moi. Now that you've found me, I wonder, do you have what it takes? <laughs> Speech 50. I always have what it takes. Oh, confident. I like that. So, what do you want to do with what you've got? Speech 75. The better question is, what are you going to do with it? Oh my, aren't you something else? I guess you'll have to see for yourself what I can do, huh? Consider it on the house. Honey. <laughs> Might as well. Lead the way. 
Follow me, hun. See. I know uh, she's actually involved in a quest. Generic gambler, generic gambler. Gambler, gambler. Okay, she's going upstairs. Follow her in a minute. These tents are nice. Generic, generic, generic. There's another one we need to find somewhere for um, one of our quests from way back at Camp McCarran. There's a hooker named Dazzle somewhere out here that we also need to talk to. Don't walk away. Let me show you the time of your life. Okay, here's Dazzle. Hey there, sugar. I'm Dazzle. <laughs> What can I do for you? Or to you? You're so handsome, I might just give you a discount. You ever spend time with a trooper named White? Yeah, he used to come around here a lot. Haven't seen him in a while, though. Why? He's gone missing, and I'm trying to track him down. Any ideas? He used to go on and on about water and the farms east of the Strip. He was talking to one of the farmers named Bascom. Had some problem with NCR. Boring as hell, but it was his money and his time. So I let him talk about whatever. <laughs> How much for a good time? There we go. Find out what Trent Bascom knows about Corporal White. Where are you from? Well, now, that's unusual. Normally, no one cares enough to ask. To be honest, I don't rightly know. My mama was from around these parts. I can remember her face, but not her name. More than I can remember of my daddy, I guess. We lived in Westside before the Omertas bought me. As bad as it can be some days in here, it's better than living in that dump. How much for a good time? A hundred caps, no kissing, no rough stuff. Never mind. Suit yourself. The offer's always open if you feel like changing your mind. Goodbye. Don't be a stranger. Anybody else out here? Oh, all right, let's go up to level two. We'll follow Joanna wherever she went shortly. Oh, don't walk away. Let me show you the time of your life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She must have gone in here. Oh, yeah. Door to Joanna's room. There you go. All right. Good night, Tater. Thanks for just, thank you for stopping by. I always appreciate it. Come here, baby. I'm all yours. Are you ready to be all mine? I'd like to talk first. All right, honey. What do you want to know? I'd like to know more about you. Yes. <laughs> Medicine 50. Contracted pupils, involuntary spasms. Medex kills quickly, Joanna. I can help. I... I didn't think it showed. <laughs> I guess that it's worse than I thought. What's happened to you? I'm... I don't know what's happening to me. I can't feel a goddamn thing anymore. Empty and poisoned like the wasteland. I'm afraid I won't make it out of here. Not without Carlitos. If the Medex doesn't kill me first, Kachino or another Omerta will. <laughs> I look pathetic, huh? The great Joanna. And now, I don't even know why I'm telling you this. Tell me about Kachino. He's a filthy monster. I've been with perverted men, but Kachino's done things to me that even other Omertas would also want to kill him if they knew what he does. He's broken so many of their rules that I don't know how he still breeds. What's the Omerta's role in Gamora? They run the place as a center for all their dirty scams and extortions. Gambling, sex, drugs. 
They'll use whatever works to exploit your weaknesses. Hooker, customer, it doesn't matter. Everyone here is a pawn to the Omertas, playing and dying by their rules. Tell me about their leaders. Nero's the pack leader, and Big Saul's his right hand. What Nero wants, Big Saul does. Then there's Kachino. What's Carlitos' story? He was an Omerta that fell in love with me. They don't ever mix with people outside the family, you know? He was planning to escape with me, but Kachino found out about us. So he did something, talked, I don't know. And Carlitos disappeared. Kachino talked because Carlitos broke Omerta rules? Kachino doesn't give a shit about rules. Only cares to feed his perversions. He lusted for me. He's done things to me. Look, I'm stuck here. I know that. Carlitos is the only thing that kept me going. And now I don't have anything left. What if Carlitos lives? If he's alive, he's long gone. The Omertas want him dead now. If you meet him anywhere, I'd do anything to get him back and escape this hell. Although I'm not keeping my hopes up. If he lives, I'll find him for you. Hun, nobody's given me a free thing before. What's it going to be for you? Caps? Sex? Straps? What? Nothing. I'll find him for you. What? Are you serious? Well, I'm not complaining, hun. Thanks so much for your help. That should start the quest. Yeah, there we go. Bye bye, love. Find Carlitos to help Joanna escape Gamora. All right. There's not a whole lot else we can do here at the moment. Well, go ahead and explore what segments of the lower levels in the suites we can here at this first pass. We'll start down here in the lower lobby. Find yourself a girl or a guy. Have some fun. There's an off limits area. <laughs> Place feels kind of empty. Okay, there's another entrance. <clears throat> Here's where the elevators spit us out. Generic yes. Don't walk away. Let me show you the time of your life. Mm -mm -mm. So Ara by invitation only. <laughs> oh my. Vodka, pack of cigarettes. That's where we came in. A little pre war money. I think all the NPCs down here are just generic.
Whoops. Got spotted. Those cons got the hint. We've shown everyone that these are our new territories. Need water. That's that's an easy fix. Those cons got the hint. We've shown everyone that these are our new territories. Can we talk to this one? Hey there. Can I get you? Nope. There we go. Alright, that's it down here for now. Let's go upstairs, we'll get a drink out of one of the sinks, because it's clean water and it's free. And we'll check out what we can explore of the suites. And we'll be done with Gamora for the moment. Perfect. All right, let's go to the sweets level. Express elevator to lower level. Very hard lock. Interesting. Hard lock door. Easy lock door. It's not red, which theoretically means it's not a problem for us to break in, right? out of there. What about over here? A very hard lock door that isn't red. So let's go ahead and see if we can spring it. Oh, hello. Dead hooker. Classic. All right, something shady's going on here. Oh, no, nope, he's cool. All right. Guess we'll check out the other hallway. Limits. Is always open for business. Clandon. Hey, nice to meet you. Do you need help with something? 
What do you do around here? A little bit of this and a little bit of that. How did you end up with one of the hotel suites? I'm a close friend of some of the family around here. I do some independent contracting around the casino, and they set me up with this great room. See ya. All right. I'm sure he'll feature in a quest later. In the meantime, let's just take everything useful. Careful not to get over encumbered. Who are these people that just hoard all their empty whiskey bottles after they're done drinking them? It makes no sense to me. He does have a pretty great room. It's huge. Oops, I didn't want to use the slasher, but... Oh, I didn't use it. I accidentally dropped it. Good. Means I can just pick it back up. This room is huge. And I am out of carry weight. That tower on the strip, the one you can see for miles? I hear it ain't sealed up no more. We'll be back. <clears throat> I think the sweets are... I think they exist in two halves, and we have to... We're going to have to try the... Uh, the other elevator as well, if we want to fully explore them. There's some serious shit going on between NCR and the Legion. Oh, yeah. Shoot. I forgot about getting my weapons back. Gonna be over encumbered now. Hmm. I wonder if I can just leave some stuff here so I can run out and fast travel like I want to. I just need those to be there when I come back. Oh. I don't even need to run now. Now we can f just fast travel to an exterior cell. And now we can use our transportal ponder. What's up, Muggy? Uh, I 
love Old World Blues. Definitely my favorite of the expansions. Honestly, kind of sad that it's over. Mm -hmm. I didn't find anything unique. Fill our empty bottles. Well, we don't need to repair that. You can feel free to buy it, though. get a basic physical exam. Oh. I hurt my knee earlier today. I bashed it against a desk. It actually hurts a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I guess I can fast travel to the strip north gate. That's the closest I'm getting, right? Now, as long as I'm able to just pick up my shovel and Christine's rifle on my way back in, everything's going to be fine. And there they are. Outstanding. Always got to keep your holdout weapons. Which way did I go up before? That one. The right one. Okay. Alright, let's go finish up in Clandon's room. That might actually be it. There may not be another missing half of the sweets level, I'm not certain. Take that. We have his lower levels here. The restroom. And his kitchen. Doesn't seem very well maintained, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Well, I actually, I, I'm 90% sure that's everything, but I'll try the opposite elevator just to be completely certain. Yeah, spit 
us out in the same place. No matter which elevator we take. All right. That's it for Gamora for now. We'll be back about quests and all those off-limits areas later. For now, let's soldier on to the strip center. Here we have... There's another entrance to the Lucky 38. Well, actually there's not. It's still closed. It's still closed. Just kidding. But we have... The LVB station. Which is where the uh, monorail... Las Vegas Boulevard station. That's where the... Um, uh, what am I trying to say? The monorail from Camp McCarran comes to. Walter and Ethel Phoebus. <laughs> Ain't that a hole in the boat? My head keeps spinning. Go to sleep and keep... Street vendor. Howdy, son. How can I help you? But make it quick. Goddamn heat's worse in this town than in the middle of a Brahmin herd at noon. You're not from around here, are you? Darn far it is, our ranch. Ethel would be happy to yap about that. I got more important things in mind, kid. Are you a bighorn rancher? Bighorn is my trade since I was a young'un. I confess, it's hard living these days, kid. The wasteland ain't the same anymore. I'd like to ask you about the wasteland. I know it better than my wife's corset. What about it, kid? How do wastelanders cope with current times? Stealing our pure breed resolve, that's how. We faced the wasteland right in the old mug and told her to shove it. Listen, we own these lands. And I'll be damned if the NCR, those Legion bastards, or anyone else tries to walk all over us. What are the most dangerous places in the wasteland? Hell, it's all dangerous. Know why? Because you can't trust anything that stands on two legs. If you're looking for real trouble, head straight into the mountains. Men don't walk up there. For good reasons, kid. Listen, we... If you're looking... All right. Now let's try uh, popping a Mentats so we can pass his perception check. Howdy. Perception 7. You look more than just too hot. What's the matter? Sharp eyes on you, all right. We've gone through a heap of trouble to get in town. Ethel says I just need to wet my throat. A drink? Nonsense. All I need now is to settle a score. We didn't come a long ways just to stroll our best clothes around. What was that about settling a score? There's a long list of grievances that Heck Gunderson's got to answer for, kid. I'm here to make sure that rancher stops stealing our lands. If he ain't chiseling behind your back, he just sends his men ready for a fight. Then you either sell your ranch for a penny, or you're dead. I'm tired of being trampled over, kid. And I got a good mind to stop Heck once and for all. What else can you tell me about Heck Gunderson? What more you want? He's a slithering snake, what he is. One of the biggest landowners this side of the Colorado, and it's all stolen, I tell you. All that money buys him any NCR senators he wants. Scoundrels like heck. There's just no way for us small folks to get by, much less prosper, kid. How is heck a threat to other ranchers in the wasteland? We are honest folk out there. Damn hard to make the living in the desert, kid. Heck's a different breed. Goddamn thief he is. Scaring us into giving away our lands is all he's done to strike it flush. Comes packing iron and none can hold a candle to his men. Bad blood. What do you plan to do about him? I have no illusions that he'll ever stop his plundering. So I'm just going to make him suffer. That's what I'm going to do. Here in town, he's got a few of his armed men to protect him. I just got to find out what he's up to, and then I'll know where to hit him hard. Hmm. I may be able to help you. The best don't come cheap, Walter. 400 caps, my fee. All right, kid. I'm taking a liking to you. It's a deal. 
Where I come from, we appreciate good intentions. I reckon you could help me figure out what he's doing in town. Tell you what, that chiseler's blowing hot air over at that there fancy casino, the Ultra Lux. Find out what's his story here, will you? Okay, I'll be back when I find out more about him. All right, kid. I appreciate it. I hope to see you soon. New quest. Feeble Will. Find out the purpose behind Heck Gunderson's visit to the Ultralux. Howdy. Good seeing you again. Anything else? I want to talk to you about our deal. I hear you. What's on your mind? Actually, never mind. Let me ask you about something else. I got some time. What's eating you? I have questions about you. Okay. What'd you want to know? Tell me again about your home. Darn far it is. What's being a bighorn rancher like? Bighorn. Okay. Let's talk to Ethel. If you don't mind, I have to look after my husband. What are you and he up to out here on the strip? He's got his reasons. And when that man gets a notion stuck in his head, he's like a big horn or bull that's seen red. And if it means Heck Gunderson's involved, then you better step aside before the stampede tramples you over. What's so important about Heck Gunderson? If that's what you want to talk about, go see Walter. He'll talk your ear off. Everything he says about the evils of Heck Gunderson is true, but I've never held the notion that fighting evil with evil carries the world forward. Is there some way I could help you out? I don't suppose you have the magic powers necessary to bring my husband to his senses, do you? He swears he won't leave this godforsaken city until he's seen Heck suffer. So far as I can see, we're the only ones in pain. I'll see what I can do. That's very kind of you. Maybe this will be the dawn of a new day. Optional. Ethel Phoebus wants her husband, Walter, to forget about Heck Gunderson and return to their ranch. Good to see you again. Where are you from? Oh, a good ways west of here, in a place you've never been. Far as we're concerned, only name it ever had was Phoebus Ranch. That was before we lost some land to Heck Gunderson. The bank demanded payment in full the day after the Stockman's Association bailed it out. What's so important about this Heck Gunderson? I'm done talking about that man. If that's what you want, step on over to Walter. What's life like as a bighorn rancher? A good life, if you don't mind hard work. The only real fuss is the constant bother with varmints. Fail to catch mole rats early in their breeding, and you'll have three or four head breaking their ankles in mole rat holes every day. Of course, the worst varmint of all is a Brahmin baron with his hands in the pockets of a Republic senator. That's a problem you can't solve with a varmint rifle. Though I fear my husband's apt to try. He's got Heck Gunderson in his sights right now. All right. Now, you have to be careful how you solve this quest. I'm reminding myself how to do it because it intertwines with Beyond the Beef inside the Ultralux. Okay, we have to talk Walter out of it in order for Beyond the Beef to work correctly, so I suppose we'll go ahead and do that. All right, goodbye. Howdy. Good seeing you again. I wanted to talk to you about our deal. Ethel's right. Vengeance will only lead to more innocent deaths. Kid, look around you. There's poison and death everywhere. And people like Heck are responsible for the misery we suffer. What right do they have to continue with their mischief and killing, huh? Speech 75, you're just giving them the excuse they need. Hell, a good thrashing is what I want to give them. But I see your point, kid. Things will never change without us good folks. Walter has let go of his will right. for revenge and can now return yeah. with Ethel to their ranch. This damn city. And head back home. There's a worthy life waiting for us there. Thanks for your help, kid. So long. All right. 
Quest completed. Feeble will. Howdy. Interested in a refreshing beverage or a tasty snack? Do you work for one of the casinos? Nope. Strictly independent. Well, kind of independent. To vend anything here on the Strip, you gotta register with one of those police robots and sign a franchisee agreement. At the end of each day, you keep half of what you made. The rest you hand over to those bots. And they know if you're cheating. Mr. House gets half of each day's take? Yep, he makes the rules. It's steep, but it sure beats living in North Vegas. Here on the Strip, I can afford to eat. And no one tries to kill me. What do you sell? Non-alcoholic beverages and snack foods. The casinos get to sell booze. No one else does. Tell me about the Strip. It's the most amazing place in the world, don't you think? This must be what it was like to live a thousand years ago. There are three casinos open for business. Gamora, the Tops, and the Ultralux. They get nicer in that order. This here's the monorail station leading in from Camp McCarran. Most of my business is with soldiers coming and going on furlough. Goodbye. Come back anytime. All right. <clears throat> so, after that little distraction with the Phoebuses... Yeah, talking Walter out of it is the only way to complete both quests successfully. We can go to the Ultralux, which is going to be our next big destination, but that'll be in another episode. Strip keeps going. Here outside the tops, we've got the, a promoter. So remember, the tops is where Benny's hiding. The last thing I'm going to do in this episode is we will explore the Las Vegas Boulevard station. Oh, webcam stuck. It hardly matters. We're almost done anyway, but I'll go ahead and deactivate and activate. There we go. Yeah, there's really not much going on in the station, but we'll explore it right quick. Obedience is virtuous. There we go, a new Mojave Express drop box. Here in the strip. That's a good one. It feels real nice to be carrying those weapons around on the strip. That damn Mr. House has forbid any NCR military personnel from carrying any sort of firearms on the strip. Well, except for Captain Pappas. Mr. House still doesn't trust the NCR. A word of advice. The Securitrons won't put up with any funny stuff out there, so don't do anything stupid. This your first time on the strip? Yes, it is. Well, it's time to pop your Vegas cherry, friend. I'm sure you'll have a blast and be drunk and capless in no time. I can give you a bit more information about the various casinos if you're not sure on where to get started. Tell me about the casinos on the Strip. Oh, well, there's the Lucky 38, Ultra Lux, Gamora, and the Tops. Which one do you want to know about? What's the deal with the Ultra Lux? The Ultra Lux is the nicest casino on the Strip. Real high-end, extravagant, and expensive. Best you have a lot of caps if you want to go there. What do you know about Gamora? Gamora is the favorite of the NCR troops on the Strip. If you like girls, alcohol, gambling, and drugs, then Gamora is just the place for you. What's the Tops like? The Tops is the cool place to be right now. Lots of entertainment and shows going on there as well as the gambling. If you want to catch a show and have a few drinks, you should definitely hit up the Aces Theater in the Tops. Tell me about the Lucky 38. I don't know much about it, to tell the truth. That's where Mr. House and his Securitrons are set up, and no one's been in there as long as people can remember. Probably best that you just ignore it. 
I want to ask about something else. Ask away. What else is there to do besides the casinos? Well, there's Vault 21 and the NCR Embassy. Both places are located on the south side of the Strip. Vault 21 is a small hotel and gift shop. It's not as nice as the casinos, but it's a whole hell of a lot cheaper. The NCR Embassy is the headquarters for the NCR on the Strip. The Ambassador and his offices are there as well as the MP headquarters. All right. Sir. Restrooms. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a new... ...of a winner. Always got to... Always got to get our generic trooper lines, don't we? <laughs> There's one. So, um, in terms of getting on to the strip, this is kind of uh, becoming good friends with the NCR so you can use their monorail as one of your options for not having to pass the credit check at the strip gate. But uh, if you're even a little bit thorough in your explorations, all, all of the different ways of getting onto the strip are kind of moot by the time you are actually should actually be looking to get onto the strip anyway, so. All right, let's head through here. And sure enough, here's the monorail, which we can take to Camp McCarran if we're so inclined. Which I, right now, am not. I'm going to go make a save outside the Ultralux, and that's going to be the end of this episode. We will hit the Ultralux next time we play Fallout, which I think will be maybe as early as Wednesday evening. In, the, in another short main project style episode like this one we just did. So that's going to do it for me tonight. To those of you watching live on Twitch, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your viewership. If you're new and you enjoyed what you saw, I hope you hit the follow button so you can see when we go live in the future. If you're watching later on on YouTube, first of all, if you like the content, I hope you like the video. And more importantly, I know I stream a little bit irregularly, but if you enjoy the content, then subscribe to the channel. Everything I do eventually makes its way to YouTube, so if you subscribe, you won't miss anything. Finally, regardless of the platform you're on, I hope you will consider joining our Discord. The link to do that is either in the Twitch channel description or the YouTube video description. The Discord is where I make official channel announcements, it's where we discuss the games you'd like to see me play, and it's where there is a cool and growing community of people who love video games just like you and me. All right. Thank you all very much. I will see you, I believe, I hope, Wednesday night. Have a great couple days.